Hello, my name is Henry Silverman, and today I want to give a short presentation on developing courses in research ethics. The topics that I want to discuss will in include making the distinction between what I call active courses versus CME courses, aligning learning objectives with activities and modes of assessment, and then I want to discuss what, what is meant by the Moodle lesson activity. So, let's go. So what is the difference between active versus CME courses? Well, active courses, which could be face-to-face -face or online, involves different types of interactivity. We have learner content inter interactivity. We have learner-learner interactivity, for example, in a discussion forum. And then we have learner-instructor interactivity. And this could occur in the discussion forum as well, or by feedback given on a written assignment or, or email uh, activity. Now, with a CME course or a continuing med medical education course, all we have is learner content activity. There is no interactivity with another student and there is no interactivity with the instructor. It is what we also call a self-paced course. And as we will see, the learning objectives will be different as well as the activity. So let's uh, see an example of what is meant by active versus CME courses. So this shows the syllabus for one module in an active course. We have here the learning objectives, the instructional resources and activities, and also modes of assessment. Each of these objectives are aligned with its associated activities and content and assessment. So for this learning objective, list the specific studies that led to research ethics abuses, we have this associated video from where one will be able to achieve this learning objective. And then for this learning objective, list the specific ethical requirements for research. We have this reading here. And for this objective, which we have discussed what is meant by research, we have several different activities. We have a lesson activity, which I'll show in just a few minutes. We also have a reading, which is listed here. And we also have a discussion forum. It is the discussion forum from which one will be able to discuss what is meant by research and human subject research. As we saw before, these learning objectives, which is merely list, these are lower order learning objectives, which can be achieved merely by watching a video or doing a reading. So how do we assess whether the learner has achieved these learning objectives? Well, we have MCQs assessment, which is in the lesson. In order to determine whether the learner has achieved the objective of discussing, we have the discussion form in which we will grade these forum posts. Now here I have another syllabus for the same module, but let's say now you want to add another learning objective with a higher learning objective denoted by the verb evaluate. That's a higher cognitive learning objective. And in order to assess that, you may want to give a written assignment to evaluate whether the learner is able to achieve the learning objective of evaluation. So what would a syllabus for a CME course look like? Well, as I said before, all we have is learner content interactivity. And so the learning objectives will be from the lower cognitive realm. So all we have here is list, list, and explain. We don't have the higher learning objectives of discuss and evaluate. And so here, we just have a video associated with this learning objective. We have a reading associated with this learning objective. And then we have this reading here and also this lesson associated with this learning objective. And the modes of assessment is merely MCQs for all the three different learning objectives. So that's the major distinction between CME courses 
and active courses. So what about this lesson activity that I've been talking about? Well, a lesson activity is a self-directed learning. Again, the learner interacts only with the content. And let me show you exactly what I mean. So when building a lesson, one could add content as shown in this slide. And you could also add some pictures to make it more lively. And you could take these pictures from your PowerPoint presentation or any other images that you might have in your PowerPoint presentation. And the content could be taken from the note pages of your PowerPoint. Or, as shown in this slide, you can add a YouTube video to the content pages of the lesson activity. And then after a few content pages, you could add what's called a question page where now you assess whether the learner understands the previous content. So let me show you an example of a CME course that I have on one of my ethics websites. Here we have a course on professionalism and I have all these different modules. So let's take a closer look at this module here, what is professionalism. And these are examples of CME courses. So here I have my learning objectives, and then I have my resources, and then I have this lesson activity. And so let's take a look at this lesson activity here. And we see here the content, and I added some images from my PowerPoint slide, a table, continue to read about the distinction between ethics and professionalism. And so here I have some more content. I didn't add any images on this content page. But the next page consists of a question. And then one could click on the answer here and submit. And the learner then gets feedback, correct answer. And then one just continues on with uh, other questions and then eventually other content as well. Here's a website where you could get more information regarding inserting content into a lesson activity. So I hope this short presentation was useful in understanding the distinction between active courses and somewhat more passive continuing med medical education courses, understanding the concept of aligning objectives with activities and modes of assessment, and understanding the powerful Moodle lesson activity. Our next presentation will discuss how to make a Camtasia video from your PC. Thank you very much.